We always talk about what we should be doing to improve our running, improving our form, increasing weekly mileage, eating better, and following a training plan. But it's not very often that we talk about the mistakes that we should be avoiding to make sure that we don't fall into some common running pitfalls that will hold us back from our training and hinder us in achieving our goals. In this video, I'm gonna cover the six worst mistakes you can make before your runs. Admittedly, some of this stuff is pretty basic and common sense, but believe me, we are all guilty of making these mistakes every now and then, so they're certainly worth touching on. Number one is not getting enough sleep. Sleep is absolutely essential for optimal health in virtually every sphere of your life. It's needed for motivation, energy, concentration, mood, and it's also vital for bodily and muscle repair after physical exercise. So if you're not getting enough sleep, you're essentially the equivalent of a car that needs maintenance. It's not gonna run to its maximum potential. It's gonna have a few problems under the hood. Get seven to eight hours in every single night. Make it non-negotiable. If you're not convinced about the benefits of sleep, I'd highly recommend the New York Times bestseller, Why We Sleep by Matthew Walker, British sleep scientist, brilliantly breaks down why we sleep and why it's so crucial for every area in our lives, including athletic performance. Number two is eating too much. Now we all love food, myself included, but there's a time and a place for eating lots. And that unfortunately is not before a run. Eating too much and then running straight away afterwards can cause digestive problems. You can feel slow sluggish, tired, lethargic, and you've got very little chance of having a fun, enjoyable run, which is not what we want. Ideally, you want to run about two to three hours after a substantial meal and 20 to 50 minutes after a pre-run snack, like a banana or a bit of toast. If possible, avoid foods high in fats and protein before your runs, because these foods take longer to digest compared to carbohydrates. So try and go with things like bananas, porridge, and toast. Keep it simple, keep it light, and you'll feel much better as you go for your run. Number three, and um, one of the worst mistakes you can make is to eat spicy foods before your runs. Please don't make this mistake. It will not end well, believe me. Spicy foods are notorious for causing digestive issues, and if you go for a massive curry the night before your run, things could get pretty interesting. Instead, try eating blander, milder foods that are as unseasoned as possible before your runs, and this will make you feel much lighter, a lot freer to move about without having to worry about digestive issues, and you'll have a much more productive Productive, much more impactful run which will help you on your way to achieving your goals and the good news is you can always treat yourself after a run with some spicy food there's nothing wrong with that just don't have it before number four is not wearing the right gear we as runners can deal with many different terrains weathers and running conditions and it's absolutely essential that we are properly equipped for whatever the world has to throw at us on our training runs before your runs make sure you check the weather and dress accordingly i myself have been caught out many a time in the pool in rain after I didn't bother checking a weather app before I headed out the door. If you're doing a long, easy run on the road, wear some road shoes with a decent stack height for extra comfort. And if you're getting on the trails, make sure you wear trail shoes. All basic stuff, but if you don't get it right, it can become very annoying when you are in the middle of a run and you realize you haven't got the right gear on. So always take a moment to think about the conditions you're gonna be running in, what type of workout you're gonna be doing, and what the weather's gonna be like during the run. Number five, and a mistake which might surprise you is doing static stretches. Static stretches are those where we are sitting down lying down or standing up and maintaining a particular position for an extended period of time. Leaning over and touching your toes is a prime example of a static stretch. They differ from dynamic stretches where we do controlled movements over a distance to achieve a range of motion and prepare our muscles for exercise that way. The reason we want to avoid static stretches is because the goal of them is to improve our flexibility, which is great if you're a dancer, but we as runners don't need to be very flexible. We just need to have good mobility we need to be able to move over long distances for extended periods of time and we need to do that in an efficient way in fact there's been some research in the last few years which shows static stretches can increase your risk of injury reduce explosive muscle performance and reduce your maximal muscle strength instead of static stretches you can do some dynamic stretches so walk-in lunges high knee drills you could also just do a very gentle jog just some movements to get the blood pumping to get warmed up and and to get ready for running. Number six is not 
drinking enough water. Not drinking enough can be the difference between your run feeling amazing and like you're smashing it to your run feeling like you're trundling through the Sahara Desert desperate to get a drink of something in you. We all know that drinking water is essential for sports performance. It regulates our body temperature, replaces any lost sweat, keeps our joints lubricated and it allows energy to move more efficiently around our body and to our muscles. Before your runs, make sure you're properly hydrated, drink a tall glass of water and go to the toilet before you head out of the door. If you're going for a particularly long run, you can bring some change with you and buy a bottle of water mid-run or if you have a running pack, you can chuck that on with the bottles filled for some on-the-go hydration. There you have it. There were the six worst mistakes to avoid before a run. Can you think of any more? Let me know in the comments. I've been Craig. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.